What's going on, y'all? It's the kid Jay Nolan here, and I'm here today to talk about the contributors on Beyonce's upcoming album, Renaissance. So I normally don't do this, but make sure you go ahead and like and share this video off the rip. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because I decided to do the Lord's work, and I'm going to break down everybody that wrote, produced, recorded, anything on this Beyonce album as much as I could possibly find, you know what I'm saying? So some of these people you're going to know, a lot of these people you're going to know, a lot of these people you're probably not. And some of these people uh, keep such a low profile that I wasn't able to find any photos, any information or anything. Some of these people are not even contributors in the music business. All right. So it's, it gets deep, man. So I need y'all to ride with me. I went ahead and did this. There's no help. I didn't get no journalistic uh, assistance. This is all on me, man. So go ahead and make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you want to give me a tip for doing this work, you can cash at me at Real J Nolan. I got it in the corner. You know what I'm saying? So let's get into it, man. So as y'all know, Beyonce went ahead and released the track list and the credits for the upcoming album, but there's so many names. How do you even sift through all of them and know who any of these people are? And being that I'm such a huge advocate of the music business, I want to make sure that everybody gets their names, their faces, and their work properly credited and seen. So by the time you play the album next week, you are already kind of familiar with these people and you have an emotional connection to everybody on the project. And then you could go investigate and find out more from what they do so on track number one i'm that girl we have beyonce of course we have terry's just still diamant who is the dream and of course you know he's written numerous songs for beyonce from single ladies to uh love on top to partition to and he's written for so many other people in the industry right we already know who the dream is uh we've got kelman duran who's a reggaeton dance music producer and dj We've got Mike Dean, who's the primary engineer and producer for Kanye West and the entire Good Music Camp. Uh, Tommy Wright III, he's an obscure 90s rap artist from Memphis, Tennessee. When I looked this guy up, I, I was like, who the heck is this? You know what I mean? But apparently he's a he's a Memphis rap icon out there who uh, pretty much set the tone for those that came after him. And he kind of looked like Easy Easy a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so when I seen Wright, I'm, I, I immediately thought, OK, is he from Easy Family? But I digress. And then on there, we've got uh, Andrea Yvette Summers, who is one of those obscure people that I can't seem to find anything. No photos, no music, no anything. So if y'all know who that is, let me know in the comments. Track number two, Cozy. All right. So we've got Nyjah Charles, who's a singer songwriter. She's been in the Beyonce and Jay-Z circle for a few years now. She's written on records for Chris Brown, Cardi B, Meek Mill, Summer Walker, Tiana Taylor. Just too many to name, man. Look her up. All right. We've also got Honey Redman, who's a dance music DJ and producer from Chicago that performs under the name Honey Dijon. We've also got Christopher Lawrence Penny, an electronic producer that goes under the stage name C. Penn, who's also affiliated with Honey Dijon. Luke Solomon, who's a British DJ and producer. Mike Dean comes back. Dave Giles II, who's a dance music producer, also affiliated with Honey Dijon. And I wouldn't be surprised if they sample one of her songs to justify the additional writers on here. And we've also got Curtis Allen Jones, who's a house music artist by the name of Green Velvet. On track three, Alien Superstar, we've got Denisha Andrews, all right? And she goes by the stage name Blue June. She's written for Ariana Grande, Nicki Minaj, Tiana Taylor, SZA, Kelani, and so many more, all right? And we've got her partner, Shy Coney. Shy and uh, Blue are a songwriting duo called Nova Wave, all right? So they're going to share a lot of the same credits on this album. Jay-Z's pen makes a... Quick appearance on Alien Superstar. I don't know if he's going to be a featured artist or if he maybe wrote a rap for Beyonce on this because y'all yeah, do know he did write the uh, the rap for Break My Soul. David DeBrandon Brown, also known as Lucky Day. No, no further explanation. Dave Hamelin, who's a Canadian songwriter, producer, uh, based primarily in rock music. All right. We've got Timothy Lee McKenzie, a.k.a. Labyrinth, an English singer, songwriter, rapper and producer. OK. Danielle Babuena is 070 Shake. Uh, she's a singer slash rapper that signed to Good Music. We've got Rami Yacoub, who's a Swedish producer, songwriter. He's worked with the Backstreet Boys, Demi Lovato, Danity Kane, Cher, Britney Spears, and many more. 
And finally, we have Lev. And the only Lev I found is Lev Cameron, but I can't confirm or deny if that's who this is. Every every song on this album is almost like a party within itself when you look at how many people uh, contributed to this work. Now, of course, there are going to be sample credits in this as well. So just because you see a name on here does not mean that that person physically was in the studio or contributed. Um, you, you credit sampled works as well. On track number four, we've got now Rogers from Chic, Nova Wave come back, and then we got my dog Raphael Sadiq. Of course, you know he's an artist, songwriter, producer, musician, formerly of Tony Tony Tone, and he's done so much in the industry, man, too much to name. Morton Restore, aka Reese, who's a Danish producer and songwriter. The Dream is going to be heavily featured on this album, so get used to hearing that name. We've got Mary Christine Brockert and Alan McGreer, which is definitely Tina Marie, uh, so they're going to be um sampling some tina marie on this album which song yet to be seen track five energy of course we've got beyonce skrillex is on there tashaun thompson is a jamaican american rapper singer producer and songwriter under the stage name beam Armando Cresso uh, is a composer, Favori, Major Lazer, Skip Marley, and others. Jordan Douglas, who produces for artists such as uh, Social Club Misfits, Don Tolliver, Justin Bieber, Tazita Mercuria, who's also an A&R at Atlantic Records and a publishing house called APG. And we've got Blue June and Shikoni. Of course, that's Nova Wave, The Dream, Tina Marie comes back. And we've got Pharrell and Chad. The Neptunes are on this one. So very star-studded event here. Track number six is Break My Soul, the single that we've been listening to for the last few weeks. Of course, that's Beyonce, The Dream, Tricky Stewart, who's also a producer and songwriter. He produced and wrote uh, Single Ladies with The Dream. Uh, also worked with Mariah Carey, Justin Bieber, and many more. Alan George and Fred McFarlane, they're the writers of Show Me Love by Robin S., okay? So for those of y'all that felt some type of way about um, the Show Me Love sample, you know what I mean? Because, of course, Robin S. didn't really know that this had gone through. The reason why she didn't know is because she did not write that song and she does not own that song, okay? Uh, so she may get paid for performances of that record, but when it comes to publishing and master ownership, it's in somebody else's name. Because she was essentially just a vocalist in the studio and the lead artist in the video. And the final two contributors on this record are Adam Piggott and Freddie Ross, all right? So uh, Adam Piggott is the producer Black and Mild, and Freddie Ross is Big Frida. And uh, Black and Mild, of course, produces for Big Frida. Number seven, Church Girl, okay? This, this is a huge list of people, so just bear with me. So on Church Girl, we have Beyonce, we've got The Dream, We've got No ID, who's a producer for Common, Jay Z, Kanye, so many others, right? We've got Elbonita Clark from the Clark Sisters. So clearly, uh, the Clark Sisters are being sampled on this record. We've got Jimmy Payton, aka DJ Jimmy. Uh, he produced bass music in the 90s and early 2000s. We've got Dion Norman, aka Devious D, a rapper that used to work with DJ Jimmy. In addition, we've got Derek Ordone. Looking him up, I found an early 90s rapper who looks like he's been sampled quite a bit, who's also affiliated with DVSD. And I also found a young producer publicly known as Derek Milano that's also been writing with uh, Juicy J, Lakia, Flo Millie, Moneybag Yo, Nicki Minaj, and more. It looks like uh, Derek Milano might be Derek Ordone's son, but I cannot confirm or deny that to be true. But both of them came up and both of them look very closely affiliated with Juicy J. So I think that the original Derek Ordone is going to be sampled on this album. And I think that uh, Derek Milano may have also produced something in here. But, you know, we'll see how true this is. This is all speculation. Uh, James Brown is credited on here. So there's going to be a James Brown sample. Orville Irwin Hall is, is credited on here. Uh Orville co-wrote a song called Drag Rap in the 80s, definitely going to be sampled on this song. Uh, Philip Glenn Price is a bounce artist who's been he heavily sampled. Um, you might recall on Nice For What and In My Feelings and pretty much a lot of the modern beats that have that bounce flavor to it is being sampled. We've got Ralph McDonald, who's a percussionist and drummer, songwriter from the 70s. And we've got w William Salter, 
who's a 70s soul singer that also wrote for Roberta Flack, Grover Washington, and a host of others. So it's going to be a lot of samples on this Church Girl song. Track number eight, Plastic Off the Sofa. We've got Sabrina Claudio credited on here. We've got Sidney Bennett, a.k.a. Sid from the Internet, Odd Future. And we've got Nick Green. I couldn't find much on this guy, man. The only Nick Green I was able to find is an executive that works for Next Play Music Group, and they represent some music by the Migos and a bunch of other artists. So I can't say for sure that this is the same person, but it does look like there is a Nick Green that's uh, heavily involved with the music industry that could have been in the studio, maybe represent somebody that did something on this record, or you just never know, man. Now on track number nine, Virgo's Groove, we've got Beyonce, of course, Levin Cali. For those of y'all that may not know who that is, uh, he's a singer-songwriter who's also worked with Sid in the past. He's also worked with Playboy Cardi, Snow Allegra, and more. We've also got Solomon Faffinson Cole. No results came up on who this person is. We've got Daniel Memmi, who's a producer and songwriter for Levin Cali, uh, Mahalia, and many others. Dustin Bowie, uh, he's actually a songwriter by the name of Dab, okay? He's contributed to songs by Queen Nyjah, Lucky Day, Lecrae, Kiana Lede, and many more. We've also got Darius Dixon, who's a Rock Nation artist and writer. Uh, his stage name is Dixon. He's also worked with Beyonce, Pharrell, Chance the Rapper, Vic Mensa, and more. Also got Jocelyn Donald, okay? A.K.A. Jazzy, who's a songwriter. Um, Jazzy actually wrote Old Town Road for uh, Lil Nas X. Uh, Jocelyn's also written for Summer Walker, Tinashe, Monica, Coldplay, and many more. Jesse Wilson is on here, an artist and songwriter who's worked with Usher, Kanye, Faith Hill, Macy Gray, and a former member of the rock duo Muddy Magnolias. And of course, Nova Wave returns on this record as well. Nova Wave will also be all throughout this album, okay? Track number 10, Move. That's Beyonce. We've got Richard Isong, a.k.a. P2J. He's a Nigerian producer that's worked with Tim's, Stormzy, WizKid, Doja Cat, and so many more, all right? We've got Arioa Irasaki, who's a writer for Chris Brown, Mario, Beyonce, uh, in the past on the Lion King soundtrack, Tiwa Savage, Ella May, Snow Allegra, so many more. I couldn't find any photos, though. Uh, Nova Wave is on here as well. We've got an appearance from Tim's, okay? We've got Ronald Banfield, a.k.a. Guilty Beats, who also produced on the Lion King soundtrack for Beyonce. Track number 11, Heated, okay? So we've got Drake, and apparently a leaked version of this song of Drake uh, came out about a year or so ago. Uh, we've got Matthew Samuels, a.k.a. Boy Wanda. If you don't know who Boy Wanda is, just look at Drake's catalog, all right? That's all I'm going to say. Now, he's produced for a whole host of others as well. We've got Jahan Sweet, who's a frequent co-producer with Boy Wanda, you know what I'm saying? So some of their work coincides with Jack Harlow, Kendrick Lamar, Givian, Drake, many more. Rupert Thomas Jr., also known as Seven Thomas. He's a producer writer from Canada, written for Drake, Rihanna, Travis Scott, Nicki Minaj, Givian, and many more. Sean Seaton, who's a, a Canadian producer, writer, uh, signed to OVO, so he's written for Drake, Party Next Door, and many others as well. Nova Wave was good. Then we've got Ricky Lawson, who's a legendary drummer and composer, has worked with Stevie Wonder, Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, and so many more. So most likely, one of his drum breaks is being sampled on this record because Ricky Lawson is actually no longer here with us. Rest in peace. Track number 12, Thick, spelled T-H-I-Q-U-E. All right, now I'm pretty sure Thick is going to be a bop, all right? So we've got Beyonce, of course, The Dream contributed. We've got Chauncey Hollis Jr., a.k.a. Hit Boy, so you know it's about to be banging. We got Atia Boggs, a.k.a. Inc., who's a songwriter for Leon Bridges, Tamar Braxton, Chris Brown, 070 Shake, and more. Julian Mason, a.k.a. the producer Lil Jew made the beat. And Lil Jew has been producing for Megan Thee Stallion for many years, all right? So he's the man behind Big Old Freak, Captain Hook, and Body. So you already know with, with Hit Boy and Lil Jew in the studio, this thing finna bang. Jabbar Stevens, who's one of the primary producers for Le Kelly 47, again, this about to be a bop. If you listen to Le Kelly 47, you know how turned up her stuff be. No photos of this guy, though. Also credited is uh, Shadrika. Nichols, all right? 
not much to be found of Miss Shay, all right? But I did find a cannabis lifestyle and media company under her name called Hood Flowers, all right? They also have a YouTube channel, so you can look that up and see what they're into. Uh, it's very possible that this is the same person, but it could also be someone else. I don't know, but I know for a fact that name pulled up this YouTube channel for Hood Flowers. Track 13, All Up In Your Mind, all right? Jabbar Stevens makes his return. Mike Dean comes back. Shadrika comes back. And then we've got Michael Tucker, also known as Blood Pop, who's a writer and producer for artists such as Lady Gaga, Britney Spears, Justin Bieber, Madonna, John Legend, the list goes on, right? Then we've got Alexander Guy Cook, also known as A.G. Cook, who's a British producer, singer, and songwriter. Jamil Aosi and Larry Griffin Jr., they're a production duo uh, called S1AO, all right? So, of course, Jamil Aosi is Aosi, and Larry Griffin Jr. also goes by the name Symbolic One, who's a producer for Kanye, Eminem, Royce59, Drake, Madonna, and everyone else you could think of. And as a duo, they've gotten a lot of Grammy nominations, and I think they probably won some as well. Track number 14, America Has a Problem. This sounds like this is going to be the political record on the album, all right? And this record has contributions from The Dream Again, Mike Dean, Jay-Z comes back to get some more. Andrell D. Rogers, a.k.a. Kilo Ali. For those of y'all that don't know, I'm sure a lot of y'all don't. Uh, Kilo Ali is, an, is a legendary Atlanta rapper from the bass era, all right? And he had regional hits like, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you. You bastard, you bastard. You know what I mean? Some of y'all don't like your mind. That's another one. Some of y'all don't like your mind. Then we got another one. Baby, baby. Oh, work it on me. If you don't know that of these songs, man, come down to Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? I'll play them for you. You feel me? But regional hits, you know what I'm saying? Bass music. So you already know this one finna be kind of turned up too in a, in a different type of way. All right. Um, in addition to Kilo, we've got Tino Santron McIntosh, a.k.a. Santron Music. Uh, he's an Atlanta producer with not many Google results, but I'm willing to bet that he probably produced the record um, for Kilo Ali. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and by the way, uh, Kilo Ali also has a song titled America Has a Problem that came out in the early 90s. So I'm pretty sure they're sampling that record on this. Track 15, Pure Slash Honey. All right, so we've got Beyonce here. Blood Pop makes a return. Nova Wave makes a return. Raphael Sadiq is back. Dixon is back. The Dream is back. Michael Pollock, who was not on any of the other records, who's a, a songwriter for Jennifer Lopez, Justin Bieber, Maroon 5, Lizzo, and many more. So then we've also got Moy Renee, who's a 90s drag artist, house music pioneer, and it looks like they'll probably be sampling their song, uh, Miss Honey, on the album, okay? We've also got Eric Sneed. I googled this name and the results showed me someone by the name of Kevin Aviance, all right, who is also a house music artist, drag queen, and event host from New York. So I'm pretty sure they're going to be sampling some of their work. Uh, we've got Jarrell Black, who's a dance music DJ and producer. I wouldn't be surprised if Jarrell actually produced the record. Um, that they're sampling or one of the records they're sampling. And then we've got a couple of people that have no results to their name. All right. So we've got VJ Marcel, Austin, Michael D. Cox, and Andrew Richard. Nothing at all came up for these people. So um, if y'all know who they are, please comment down below and let me know something. And now we're at the final song on the album, man. Summer Renaissance. We've got Beyonce on there. Levin Callie's back. Nova Wave is back. Mike Dean, The Dream, Atia Boggs. And then we've got LeVar Coppin. The only trace of this person was a very old article stating that he was once a part of uh, Terror Squad Entertainment. Of course, that's the label owned and created by Fat Joe, who's now tight with Jay-Z, as y'all know. So maybe he was in the studio. Maybe he played a part, gave a couple words or something. We've also got somebody here by the name of Salu uh, Dion. The only results of, of this person is a African male fashion model for Dior. It's possible he was in the studio, maybe contributed to the vibe, uh, but there's no actual music connection to this person. Uh, and then we've got the drummer Ricky Lawson being sampled again. And then we've got Donna Summer. All right. And as y'all should know, Donna Summer is a 70s artist, a.k.a known as the queen of disco. We've got Giorgio Moroder, who's the father of disco, and he co-wrote and co-produced many of Donna Summer's hits. And then we've also got Peter Bellet, 
who also co-wrote with Donna Summer and Giorgio Marauder. So it's clear one of her records is being sampled on Summer Renaissance. Man, it took me like a day and a half to come up with all of these results, these photos. I've been on the hunt working on this for the last day and a half, man. I couldn't even get other content out, but I really am passionate about people getting their flowers while they're here. It shouldn't take for people to pass away for us to be like, oh man, that person was a great songwriter. I didn't know how much they did, but I just want to, you know, appreciate them now in death. We're not here for none of that, man. So I wanted to make sure that any and everybody, whether you knew them or not, there's somebody that you probably should get to know because they've done enough work in the industry to now be featured on a Beyonce album, which is probably the most coveted position in the music business currently so yeah man i did a lot of work here so y'all need to be hitting that like on here make sure that you share this video and make sure that you also drop a comment down below who are some of your favorite writers on this album some of y'all actually do be paying attention to to stuff like that so let me know who some of the, your favorite people are on this album i may have to do a video talking about nova wave because they contributed so heavily to this album that i'm now curious as to what they do and sound like I feel like I've done way too much talking, so I'm going to go ahead and sign out. Much love and respect, y'all. And again, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like this video and share it with a music head, all right? Much love and respect, y'all. Peace.